Tulet magatam siga sun magan ni hiawe hono ya. Mette ko abs ko an siga sun. Stay city. Kaki <laughs> He won the most no home made, and the most so mago no homag. Stay you and get be with the mago. Ogamauga, I see gas. He gave you a mouth that way. He gave she watch it that way. He gave we get the camp or more to him. She gave us cow. He gave Ogamauas in the middle. You see, he's with the most signia. He was. Yaguana Maguti school mini geat Yaguana give it say gitana Scapiosa Gihayawat Yaguana that up will come out. No human like you with the moat. It took twelve buffalo to make the TP for Ogamau. Niso sap and he he give to it man and no home. He stay Mstatoski and Ki told them. Maga, he kept order and peace. Would tip we all mean a gea will. Faith keeper gea will. He see a go, Gamao. A caller. He give us a tit is a man at camp and make it tip with the go caller. We still see that, Anos. Some dances. Some of them they call them stick man nowadays. My Gunen Han, he got killed with Nagatoki, the one Ogamau. My good tea scold me no mistake. Wist the Ogotama. Guy to its git take. A peto school got killed with the pita, mean a nap you a peto. Your grandma, me, your grandma, dear one, I'm staying to see what's it is a man. He gives you what's the gang. Yet he tapped the gang. Then some is a skit the mouse of the gun, he feather. You see, he takes out the gis a man and chaos. School me in a pair of nicks. Most of me dog and all chaos, he was a poor was a gig or gig in a night. The children were connected to their mothers and Himi no Kamawa. Igi nanai tawazi. Magi wami ni gota no Kamawa. Igu ni han ni igi huapa ta. Igi huapa ta. Muniawa igi huap mat iwi tawazi ito ta. Igu wami ni igi ski ta. You be the Indians were going to be bribed by the white people. Ux meaning is excita, he gave one. Magigo Tamina, they did lots of ceremonies because they have that knowledge, that intelligence that we don't have too many, not too many of us have that intelligence now. You want to get ski to muck. You eat a good tea to moon yaw. You eat a scum way daughter. You go get here. Corn court and a gaggy way some matisa. Me here. That's the corn court that bribed the native people. Maggie go is ta old tea. Get here. Kiss the no old. Corn court or he came. It came from different country, and then our own ego, we still got a year. They knew that. They asked me to get out. 
they were coming. Pukuta so itake. Tama manage. Look, she say, git, digit, do it, man, oge mao. And they prepared for it. Yagoska gim state dog, said Kayas, oge mao. He was highly regarded, an oge mao. That's good, some magai to it, a git, take mistakes, you are soon again. There was interconnections, interfamilies, Kayas. Yagoska. Our relationships were so humble. They were humble. They were respected. We don't do that anymore. We don't know how we're related to our cousins anymore. He has to talk, he has to teach his clan. Those teachings and he, he goes to come stay with me and he, come stay with me now. No come out. He had to teach. He had to see his people were taken care of. He had to do that. That's why no come out. That's why he was called no come out. He has to look at everybody equal to equal. No family had more. No family had less. That's that's the role of that Ogemao. Because that was then, back then. But now it's so changed. Now we have people, our own people, living in the street, which always hurts me when I see our own people living in the streets being really poor. Tan the big squat, the good chick, Yaguma, the big squat to me, the role of the Ogemao, the big squat, the good Sugunigani, Sampoga is called Nabioka, Ganigani stacking. Oh, Topogan get the quick ski tahua, Guni ho ho, he, we are so ill, Nami, and the quick ski tahua Ogemao and a gisigas, Gah, Gio and I see no, Gagi, Queska no up, mad. We get a sick max for ten or one dozen families should not have to suffer because an Ogemao, because that Ogemao is too greedy. That was not the role of Ogemao a long time ago. They need to hear today's uh, elected system woman. They need to hear a lot of this. They need to hear the role of Ogemao. Maybe we could get out of that system of being poor. You sneeze, man, the need man. They eat the anic, the magnoc, a puman, a wasak, a matotic, the magnoc, a wasak, a way with so sick from their homes. When children are being kicked out from their homes, it hurts in my heart. It really hurts. Because I grew up with my culture. I grew up respecting my grandfather. Well, he was Ogemao. He was the true Ogemao. That's the last time I ever see a true Ogemao and my brother. When it was handed down to my brother, Hukumau Winamma, he could tell me them stay. Greediness start to take over. I seen my brother being beaten up. 
I seen my dad being beaten up because they were hereditary system that they they had. And it always bring emotions in my heart because the people that beat them up now, they rule our reserves. And the hereditary people are being suppressed to the way, way down. The hereditary people will have to get up. I kept these things all these years. I grew up with this system. I grew up with knowing about the indigenous laws, the laws of the woman. I grew up with them. I knew them, but I've been silent all these years. He go go nen he. The pamatona is big agi we start. He got the otai pe kyoki town in Japan. My great grandfather. He got the who is the agi he. Si si we ham ki si ga son musum nana. Our great grandfather, he was the signatory to the treaties. These stories have been handed down to my generation, and I've been handing it down to my my children's generations. Before they were signed into the treaty. They had ceremonies, and the woman had a big, important role in there, along with the Ogemao. It wasn't done like one night. There was a gathering, Isam Mixby, and they had ceremonies four nights. A free ride on a train. I remember I taking free rides on a train. I remember taking free rides on a bus to Prince Albert. I remember those things. All we had was a treaty ticket. It was about this long. That treaty ticket was about this long, and it's about the color of my skin. It, it wasn't white. It was about this white. You got to give me go, yeah, man. We were given those three D tickets. He were gonna hand he put the money he picked away. We went to the exhibition. We we didn't have to pay. We were given free meals just to show our three D tickets. You can see my guy as he picks up and pay. Okay, mau na. We are okay, mau. What I see in my eyes, they have to be looked at in an equal way. That's what we did. Uskata would eat the stud. It's a big night and nap you. He would say, I'll eat with a stop. We'll eat big squat because you're with a woman. Who can always hand a guy to it? I cannot talk to you too. You came here on behalf of a woman, guy that is. You say, why no an Ogemao? Messengers 
no come yo con hijo tao ya no me somo papi y en qué tao tao ya con el type yo hijo tao hijo hasta mina pinita chuyo hijo tao aquí pi aquí hoy está chuyo con el tipo matón yo con el chuyo con el tipo aquí ha yo con mi no mundo chiqui tin que hoy na 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 hoy que y que es que está más es que es que es un tenisio que está más está para matar una hoja no está hoy mani que tú muy ni su gati te hice no hija está que pego no está para matar una pego no me escapa tío just like smoke is up here someday it's gonna come down That's what my dad said. Our treaties will be strong again. Maga Pugiskog, the woman have to get up. That's what he said. He used to set my children in a circle, talking about those treaties. He umanigitud. There's going to be a big court case in the future about our treaties. They're going to be the strongest. When that happens, we pick up a old mau and now we have school a old mau and he get to it man not that way. That's a way. Isn't this good spike or key way? Kakisa, I must not give them a treaty. Moikis must not give my expedite treaty signing when I see that. Get the miscuts by or two people. Get the Muy hasta es como we lived off the land. Me and my husband lived off the land for many years. I don't remember going on welfare too much. I don't remember that. We lived off the land. He gave me a cement to our hands to work with, our hands to pick with. Yeah, we go still in the way we get done inside the reserve. That farmer instructor lived inside the reserve. He brought with him medicine. He brought with him tools for the men to work with, to be farmers. And they did so well. I have a picture of my dad, my brother, my Muslim. Okay, my ox speak the Muslim. I have a picture of them. They were thrashing. And we used to play around there. You went and thrashing machine. He could tell me that he could be took at that. Oh, uh. Books to give in, oh. Rations, you see, got more to put in go, yeah. To get out from the reserve, we had to have a permit to get out from the reserve. He brought rations. There'll be pork, there'll be tea, sugar, salt, beans. He would tell me give me that man. Once a month, we used to get those. Before then, before that happened. I remember these food stamps that my dad and my mom, I was wondering why they used to take one food stamp for, to get tea, a pound of tea. When they used to go sell their beaver belts and and those were gone, the food stamps were gone. And then the, the rations, they call it rations, those are the ones that started coming in because we weren't allowed to go out from the reserve. 
So the men, Hukama and the Mosoma Gito, we listen to Ogama. Go. Go in silence. Go hunting. Si ko na mo suma na ni giwita mo ay akigin tohto ay akigiwita mago ay akigoy. We used to go. Ngi tohta na ni ti tono tsitsigia. Hinata ma akigwita mitsia. We were never hungry. We were rich. Tono tigi miwa ya. Our kukums, our moms, they used to dry meat ni ti out in the bush. He go go then you take the whisky pay go go mama gardens rations A lot of things start to change from there A lot When I look back 50 years ago I see a lot of things change it's a big transition I grew up Horses, we used to use saddle, hitching up the horses to a wagon or a sleigh. My grandparents were from Sodo, next reserve here. And my, my sister Married into this reserve, we used to come and visit you. We used to play on those hills over there. Just so we are sick, you see, got the man man. I had a flashback. I had my parents with me. I felt like I was a child again coming into this reserve. Magi kunen han gitto I'm stay we gi mis ko chipa kita to go permit me na ma mui go haga tas. Daya ya to go titia from the reserve. We don't have to have that permit anymore. Even when we trying to cut the trees we we, we had to have the permit. But later on, when my brother was a chief, my brother, things start to happen. A little sawmill, he asked for a little sawmill. He got it. And that's when these lumber houses start to begin in our reserve. Because my brother, he gave him out. He wanted something good for his people. He was a farmer, put up gardens. And yet that farmer instructor had My mom, that one day, she woke up early in the morning. She heard a noise, heard the dog barking. She got up, and here was that farmer instructor digging out from her garden. That farmer instructor was stealing. He did that to our other neighbors there, stealing from their gardens. We didn't say nothing because he lived in the reserve and he wanted to know everything what goes on. His name was Mr. Jones. That's the only name we knew, Mr. Jones. He used to drive a, a little army jeep. He used to go and steal around. And Ogemao, he knew that was happening. He went and talked to him. And then there was one interpreter. He was a Métis person. He got that Métis person 
went to Duck Lake because the Indian agency was in Duck Lake. He went over there on a wagon and he went and told on that farmer instructor what he was doing to the gardens. And he was released shortly after that, released from our reserve. And from there we had another farmer instructor, but he was a kind man. He was really a kind man. He showed the people how to build bridges and and that's what they did. They, they worked together with that farmer instructor. I was this money, it's going to flow in. It's going to come into our reserve. There, he said, slowly, they elected the system It's going to buy off our treaties. Across Canada, I travel and I tell it to the university students. You have to get hold of your own indigenous laws. We had them. You have to approach your elders. They sit with them. Your elders sit with these laws. Ask and it will be given to you. And that's what I've been starting to do, Manista. I've been sitting with these laws. She was a midwife, my Kokum. And she was the one that delivered one of my girls in the house. And that's the other thing too that the government is very afraid of. Because we we still have our our people that were born in a land instead of hospital. That's one of the most important things. No come to it man. When a child is born, when it makes the first cry, they bring a story, they bring a, a message. That's one of the, the roles of the midwife. They understood that child's cry, that very first cry. So they know What's going to happen in that child's life? Because that child brought a message for them. Some of the children, when they're born, they wear bonnets. It's a second layer of skin that covered their eyes up to here. Those are very gifted people. My kukum used to tell me that. Those are the ones he get to it no kum mista he. He will pick squatta ko misit ki ko he. Many wins tohta he. Tohta mau ni mi gos he get to it no kum. 
they're very gifted to eat no human. Missy give it the mouth. Hit Then so we see that thing, you can burst bark baskets in here. You got to it. They used to dry Saskatoon berries, you got to it. My own mother, he gets that, sick man, a mochi. Saskatoon berries, and they used to dry them. Choke cherries, they used to pound them on a rock. They'd make them like hamburger patties. They used to dry them. And then they'd put them in a birch bark baskets. Own Mary of that family. That's what, of that um, animal. That's what they used to use for grease. You go, mama. They used to put it on their meat, on their berries. No, no, that's That's how they prepare all these squawkayas. Own Mary, mama. And sometimes they put berries in there. We never had candies when we were growing up. Berries and nanne. And it's so good, and man, and don't move me. Don't see what's a gig. We used to have this sap from a, from a tree in the spring. That sap would come out, and us children would, <laughs> you know, we'd all be sucking from that tree. That's what, that was our candy because it was so sweet. Lots of things that I can, I can talk about. We said, Kiwe and you see, said, if the students, if they want to learn, maybe one week, maybe two weeks, about the middle of Or the end of July, or the first week in August, the best time to learn about the way we used to live a long time ago. Then you can prepare your own choke cherries, you can prepare your own Saskatoons. In the middle of the winter, you can eat those. 
That's how we preserve, that's how we used to preserve uh, berries, dry meat, moose hides, deer hides. I did all those things. I make moccasins, I make lots of things. I know how to make those things because I grew up with them. Maggie Gomina, education Numa, Kaisi Gatti. I encourage my children, my grandchildren, to get into it. But never forget that you're a, an indigenous person. No, always put that first. And just because you have an education, humble yourself. Because that's one thing we were taught is to humble ourselves. No matter how much money you have, in Indian country, it's not going to open the doors for you in heavens. That's what he said. doesn't matter how much money you have. It's not going to open the doors for you in heaven. That's what my Muslim said. That's true. It's nice to enjoy Mio's Niwanos. To have that enjoyment outside the reserve, you got to have that money. Magamina, to have that enjoyment, like myself, I'm, I'm old now. I can enjoy a lot of things over there. In the morning when I get up, sometimes I forget to light up sweet grass. I'll go outside and I'll listen to the birds. It's just like they're talking to me, just like I can understand them. And sometimes I, sometimes I, I think I can understand the wind. Those are the things that Okamau taught us because a lot of us grew up that way. And when, you, when I stand there outside, I'm thankful. We can never hate the Creator. Because he's the giver and he's the taker. Sigi tuit me na ukamau. We are gonna me go ya. We are me nutnam. He can take a life. No matter how much you love that, your parent, your sister, you'll take it. You sigi tuit. Ya go sigi tuit. Nemo Can some is a piece of to spike? A spirit is a magi or no maca, must take His squawk. His squawk, who's a woman, must take a gi match beat to spike. Many who know me speak a gi match beat to him a bootlegger so key hair, old be a patin. He was be a magic snoma akigo. When we starting to go to school, 
I think that's where a lot of the things start to change. The boys don't respect the girls. And they started growing up that way because they see the teacher hit us. The teacher used to hit the girls. And I think that's when the boys does not respect the girls anymore. But the way my Gokum used to tell me is that God created the hands for us. The men are supposed to use those hands to provide for their families, not to hit the not to hit the woman with them. God didn't give you those hands to hit woman with the gitwa man no. When we started school, a lot of things changed. We used to have a strap or a roller. That man used to hit us with those things. And the boys see this. And I think that's when the role, the boys, think they're the rulers. Before then, the woman used to come first. As they grew up like that, I seen these, my schoolmates, I seen them hitting their woman. Many of you, when they have woman. And I think back to that teacher that used to give us lickings with those with the strap. And I think that's when they especially after when in nineteen sixty, sixty one, sixty two, somewhere there, when our native people were allowed to go into the to go sit in the bar and drink alcohol. I seen a lot of changes after that. I seen women being dragged around by the hair, by men. And then I think that's when it started to change for the woman, a lot of the women. That's when men do not respect the woman. Now today I look around and I see the young ladies, they don't respect themselves anymore. I think we should go back to respect ourselves as women because we have important role to do yet in the future. You can know Kiwaya. You can miss me, so you pay you to school. We ought to. Very few, very few women. are respected nowadays, very few. Tasa Maria, keep these in stocking, the treaty promise for education. In 1952, the promise niti stony legu digs no magic mitchit a was sag. Igo is pigigo hunter. There was a Catholic school, there was an Anglican school under in our reserve. Hoxtigo no pisngiawana in he hear it. 
ki to yaguana igao has ta ki pun pai the right to education das ko so ki chok mas ko muy wisti te pi ta kamu magi go top go ta to ta tamia ta pi mi go ya kamu ta free education the queen queen victoria how Yaguani ki peso tamawat ni hiyo ka ki ki skupi sumtap mo ti skumato ato pagi skunipi tap mo chua. Yaguani ka ki ki taya ya ki ki tuit. Yaguaniw maganiw ki ki stapo ki taman mo yao yag tagi piko na ki kunhan ni. Skukiano, a puit to get the pig on a massoya, the pig on a maga, oh, yahapo. Win an art to who go gama, ogama, hogama, han. Now we have tribal council, we now have AFN, we now have FSIN. What, what do they accomplish for our treaties? I don't see nothing. Neo ya magi wa bata man. Iko tas ko ciet ni suh tas ki ko ni ho he. Just like our treaties are going down, our rights are going down. In 2010. Our friend from Ottawa got be with the Maguia Kyogum. A lot of things are going to change. We might have to start paying for hospital. We might have to start paying for education. Are we not more to the moon? Who is to blame? Who is selling our rights? We have to ask ourselves. The students, so university students, have to do research on those things. Who is responsible if that is going to happen? You know, pugi ko ay gunen han tamasin. Kakuin sto tama yung gusto ka ito han. You got to have one side that you're an indigenous person, one side the European system. Pugi gunen at kuya ay akan tan sto tama. Mina ta sa gi ta ina o sa magini hiawan. Mui mui ka sa mga sa gimoni aon. Yung sigi to it mina gi tie. Maga uto po ama moni moni aon moni aon pig skuno ma. Tan sto ta mih mina. Tan si to it maga. Sui ti ta ta pig ni gi to it mana. Yago ako kama. Tas po in 1952. When they brought in the Indian Act, they opposed it. I still have a picture of my dad. There was three. Edward Fox, Pego, Siga. So I believe he was from Sweetgrass or somewhere here in Battleford anyway. And Tropati Minawa. There was three of them that opposed that Indian Act. And that's when that system started to change everything. Medicine we used to have in the reserve. We used to go get it. Now there's nothing there. Sure, there's a clinic in our reserve. The doctor comes in once a week. There's nothing there for emergency. Why can't we prepare? Then he came here to his stomach. He went on to his bag. Then he said, I'm going to go to me. That's what I'm going to do. He got some people to sit down. Then he said, Kinohti 
Okimao leadership, Kanani Kanista, Ta Samaya, Mio Sneak, Ta Skataki. Ye woman eat this, the man you want to get to an umma. You learn the European system, but don't forget you're always an, an indigenous person. You're always that first. Okay, ma, when I'm a guy, see that thing. Look around. See, man, to give me where. Mskisawa. God gave us vision. You look around. As you go into your education, you finish university. You become a doctor or you want to be in leadership. Use these and use these and use this one. Yagwamba. That will take you far away, far away. Kukito te unwayo. Mina taks nahoma tsukuge. The underprivileged children. Huge mawana, yuksanigi tatoski. He took the orphans as his children. Huge mawana. Kispnusti tatoski, true leadership. You know, our people would be well educated in many ways if that leadership works in that form. When you finish education, when you finish university, when you finish your goal, what you want to be, what you want to become. Kindness. Humbleness. But do not forget that are not privileged enough to be where you are. You kind of have to bring them up, bring them up, talk to them. Young people should be able to start talking to each other now, along with the elders. That's good, Zomak. When you go fasting, you're taking one more step. That's a baby step into to your culture. You take one more step. One more step. That's how it goes, me no European education. And some children are very gifted. Some children are born. that intelligence. And those children, when you enter their house, they know your personality already. Those kind of things should go back to it while you're learning the European system too. Go back, do your fasting so you can understand the true meaning of what you went to school for maga. That's what you get. Children that are not privileged in that form, try and always include them there. It's not going to be easy, maga, as you go. Please, I want to talk, I want to say, you deserve to learn your culture if you're done with your school. Learn your culture. Learn that intelligence that our people had a long time ago. Even as a woman, when I became, the first time when I became a woman, when I began having my moons, my kukum took me in the bus she kept me there for eight days until I was clean. When we got back to my parents' house, there was a wooden lodge there, and that's where she set me. She told me, you sit over there. She sat by the door. And she used to smoke a, a little pipe, that twisted little pipe like that. She used to have a little bundle here. That's where she used to put her pipe. 
I didn't know my grandmother had a little hunting knife about this big, this long. And she sat me there. She said, what I'm going to say to you is going to really hurt you. But if you're going to be mad at me, she said, she looked in there. She took out her knife and she staked it there. If you're going to be mad, she said, you take that knife and kill me because I do not want to live with that your, with your anger. That's what she told me. And she started telling me a lot about being a woman. My breasts were made to feed my children. I have that natural gift from the Creator. I have the natural gift of a womb where my children are going to be. They're going to be living in water for nine months. That's what she told me. She told me everything there. I started to cry. And after she's done, I hugged my kokum and I said I would never, ever be mad at my kokum. 